Illinois Congressman Roger Krishnamoorthy is a member of both the Oversight and Intelligence Committees. So, Congressman Krishnamoorthy, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you. Um, got a lot to get to. So, first of all, sources are telling Dana Bash here at CNN that, that Speaker Pelosi is signaling that she may move on the impeachment in the next maybe 24 hours. What are you hearing? Um, I really don't have any information about that, uh, quite honestly. Uh, she did say in her press conference that she's going to be moving soon. Um, and uh, I think she just wants Mitch McConnell to basically put in writing what he claims uh, has received majority support in the Senate. And so the question is why he doesn't want to do that. It's only fair to know what the rules are uh, before the articles are turned over as well. But just on the fact that she has held on to them, you know, Congressman, for, for three weeks now, what is she getting for doing this? Well, I think that um, her holding those articles actually initiated the discussion of witnesses and additional documents, especially in light of the new information that we learned over the holidays with regard to the reasoning, uh, the, the reasoning that the White House put forward for why they were withholding aid and actually what happened and the, uh, the freak out, sorry to use that term, that was happening among Defense Department officials about withholding the aid, saying that it was illegal. There's no good reason for holding it back. And so that just raises the question of why. And as we uh, established through evidence in the House impeachment inquiry, it was because the president wanted the Ukrainian president to launch or announce an investigation of the president's domestic political rivals. Congressman, I'm still back, though, on, you know, the, what, what Nancy Pelosi is getting out of holding the articles and you said documents and witnesses. And I mean, I, maybe you've heard something that we certainly haven't. But on the Senate side, are you hearing about them saying yes to witnesses or new documents? Because we haven't. Well, as you know, uh, when Mitch McConnell first started making statements about the trial, he basically said he's going to be walking in lockstep, so to speak, with the White House and there would be potentially no witnesses. Uh, later on, he modified uh, his um, proposal for rules in the Senate to involve witnesses to be called later up after the trial commences. So that was movement on his part. That being said, he still will not put in writing what he's said publicly. And the question is why? Is it just petulance or is he trying to hide something? What about, speaking of witnesses, I mean, you have former National Security Advisor John Bolton, who, you know, in the last week said that he's willing to testify uh, in a Senate trial if they subpoena him. But, yes. but what about you and your House members? Like, why, why hasn't your committee subpoenaed him? Sure. We, were, we tried, um, but his attorney basically said they would litigate it. He was not going to appear uh, before a House committee uh, uh, without a court order, which, as you know, would have taken months and months. But could you um, not so, still do that now that he's offering up testimony to be su to subpoenaed? Well, given that he is still proceeding with a, uh, a, a litigation strategy with regard to the House, but he's willing to comply with the subpoena in the Senate, and now we're moving to a Senate trial, it makes all the sense for the Senate to subpoena him and then him for to him to comply and come forward. The one thing I'll just point out is, as you know, uh, a lot of fact witnesses, Fiona Hill, Lieutenant Colonel Vinman and others who worked for him said that he called withholding aid in return for these political investigations an illicit drug deal. He never publicly or privately or otherwise disputed that. Uh, but it's good to hear that from him in person, and that's why he should come forward in the Senate. Mm. Uh, let me just pivot, Congressman, to what's happened in the last couple of days with regard to Iran. And just given the classified briefing you received yesterday and then the evidence you were presented, do you feel like the strike on Qasem Soleimani was justified? Um, I'm, I've now seen six hours. Uh, I've been part of six hours of intelligence briefings, including two today, two hours today. I have yet to see intelligence that backs up the president's assertion uh, of an imminent threat in which he was involved, but most importantly, that those threats would not unfold even without him being alive. Uh, but the damage has been done, so to speak, in that uh, the Iranians are unified, unfortunately we are isolated, and they are running as far away from uh, denuclearization as possible, which is the wrong direction we want them to be going in.
All right, uh, Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, we are all keeping our ear to the ground just back to the impeachment uh, to, to uh, you know, Speaker Pelosi and, and when she may hand those uh, articles over to the Senate and we'll have another conversation when she does. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and uh, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Uh, thank you.